Hey y'all, it's me, Niecy Lynn. I hope y'all are having a great day. This is what, the 18th of February, 2020. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch. Um, we talk about things we're working on, things we finished, projects we wanna do. I have um, a few things to show y'all, not a lot of whips right now, and I don't have any haul until next week. Um, I go to my LNS on this weekend, so there'll be some haul next week, yay. I'm so excited. We have our Stitch Along get together, and so that's gonna be great fun. I've only got to do it once before, but we're due, we meet up once a month, and um, I haven't worked on it, so I've gotta get it out in the next day or two and get some stitches in. It um, is on linen and I stitch in hand, so I have to be kind of disciplined when I work on it and be careful, so I'm gonna enjoy it, but jump right in here. I had a lot of questions and um, first of all, I wanted to say there are so many of us who are caring for parents and other loved ones right now. I was going to name everybody out, but so people, we would all know like who to mention in our prayers or good thoughts or whatever it is you do. But there are so many of us that it would be 45 minutes of just reading people's names. So maybe just think of your stitchy friends who are taking care of others. Um, mom, my mama's doing great. Um, she's back home. She, we've got her walking and everything, exercising again. And um, we laugh because she's trying to walk 8,000 miles an hour, but you know, she's moving. So that's something. So like I said, I was gonna name all of y'all out, but there's just um, too, too many. So um, also I'm gonna try to swing this I don't know if this is gonna work. Uh, Vicki asked that flower arrangement right over there. Yes, I did, it's kinda dark over there right now, sorry about that. Um, yes, I did that one. Um, it was on the little stool. The girls are napping right now, so the um, Rescue Riders is paused in the background. They like that right now, that's their thing. So yes, I did make that flower arrangement. Thank you for that nice comment about it. Um, Maria, um, O-S-T-E-R-N-H, Osterno, and a couple of people, um, oh, pause, because I left the, left the book, hold on, hold on, yank. Hello, I'm back. Uh, Y'all were nice enough to mention what book the cut from a pattern I love was in and I found it it's this one here it is July 1989 and it is and I actually when I opened it up realized that I'd stitched both of these I'm gonna have to try to cover it so y'all can't see the pattern actually but it's right here in the July 1989 so that is your cut from a pattern I love that I showed in floss tube number nine it's in this magazine right here. So thank y'all who dug through and found out who it was, so uh, where, which one it was so I could get it out there. There were a couple of y'all and I probably forgot somebody if I did, so thank you too. And in looking for that one, this is the big Santa that I showed in maybe Floss Tube two or three. I found the pattern for him. I did him like six strands over two on 14 counts, so actually he came out of seven counts, so he would be big. He's not that, the pattern isn't that big. He's like 100 by 78 or something. Let me see. What is he on here? 79 by 108. So he really isn't that onerous of a stitch. And like I said, at the time, I didn't even know there was a such a thing as a seven count, so. And my nose is pouring, so I'm sorry for that. Allergies or something else right now. So I did find him when I was looking for my other one. So yay for that. Uh, Beth, uh, Jackie is, um, Beth Krause had asked about Jackie is cross my stitches. And her uh, video, her floss tube number 24, shows her hats off to Uncle Sam that is so cute and very like Frosty's Night Out. Um, Anna's mister had a kidney transplant. So also be sure and put them in your kind thoughts for everybody taking care of everybody else. Um, 
Rebecca Moore, that linen stocking is the poinsettia stocking out of, or poinsettia, Janice, excuse me, by Blackbird Designs. It's in Home for the Holidays. I think I showcased that book in maybe Floss Two, Three or Two. It's well worth the money. If you can find Home for the Holidays anywhere, it is a great buy. Okay, and Karen Mesco, you had asked about my FFOs in Episode 7. There are a lot of them, because um, that's my year in review. Everything um, except for the Witchy Boutique, which is on shell linen. I think it's 32 count or 28 count shell linen. And the Halloween Eve by Blackbird Designs, which is on 16 count pewter Ada. All the others are on 28 count, even weave Monaco, that I just dyed with Rit dye. So um, Halloween Hoopla is on 28 count with um, apple green Rit, and I just kind of squeezed it out and dried it. I didn't bake it because I didn't want um, I didn't want a lot of dark in it because I was using the piece for two things. And um, the others all were Rit dyed with yellow, camel, and gray. And so I would do the yellow and then do a light camel and then do a gray, like an overwash like this and squeeze it out. And so that makes it look a little different. Um, and they, um, Art of Designs book about bequeathing your stitched pieces. And I can't find where I wrote your name down. Holy smoke. Um, I've got to, I'll have to go back and find it. But I'm going to look for that book about, it was about, sending your pieces on after you're gone, who, what to do with them. So that sounds interesting to me. Um, and I like the thought of that. I loved all y'all's comments about the hospital and what happened to y'all in the hospital and um, funny and just, I'm glad I'm not the only one that gets sketchy when I'm in there because it makes me a nervous wreck. Um, also, yeah, my 28 count, all that. So the Christmas hair, oh, it's the other one. It's on 16 count black writ dyed Ada. Sorry, I jumped around a little bit. Barnyard Christmas and Farmhouse Christmas are on tea dyed 28 count that I bought from Down Sunshine Lane. And she will sell it in big pieces. It's very affordable and she gets it to you very fast. And I just want, I go ahead and pre-cut all my pieces like that and then have them ready in my bag to finish out the whole series. So that's what I do so that well, like when mama was in the hospital and I had to come home and grab something quick to take back up there, to take there with me, I already had a piece cut because I didn't want to take any of my big projects with lots of thread to the hospital. Um, that's a small project with just a couple of colors and it was easy to put in a, you know, just a little small project bag and I carry it with me. So that worked out really, really well for me. I like doing them that way. Um, that way when I've, I can just, I also go ahead and write down the size of my mat board cuts that I'm gonna finish them off on and all that, that's all together. And that way I don't have to measure, 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 measure. Now do I measure again every time my stitched piece? Yes, just in case I got off somewhere or added a stitch because I hug my finishes really tight. Let's see if I have one here, here we go. I hug my stitches, my finish is pretty tight to the edge I don't leave just a ton of extra room. So I do measure mine again every time to be sure that I didn't add a couple extra stitches and that would make it not fit, be a little bit different. But they, um, I, that way I'm just ready to go. And I like working it that way. It's ready to roll when I'm ready to roll. So if you need something fast, you can grab it and get moving on it. Um, my whips, um, I have only been working on one thing at a time. So as I finish something, I'm, I finished it off. And y'all know I'm kind of monogamous stitcher anyway. And so the only thing I'm gonna reach over here and get, you know what, I'm gonna show y'all this crazy thing I got. This is what I'm working on now. It is Little House Needlework Spring ABCs. It's so cute. And I just, I'm too, well, there's another needle, hold on. I can't get unrolled for y'all. So let's see how far back do I need to lean. If I fall off the stool, y'all really gonna go to laughing. Right there, so I'm at what? I just, I've H down, no, J down finished. So I just need A through I to finish this off. It's worked up really, really quick. I started it 
one day last week, maybe Friday. So um, I did change the robin to a bluebird. I have bluebirds at my house here now instead of robins I had at the other house so much. But other than that, it's the called for colors. Um, I, now in the blue, I changed to the variegated, what is it, 4235 DMC because my, um, they had used Stormy Night and mine is super gray. Theirs look blue in the picture, but my picture didn't look like that. Mine is, um, theirs look kind of bluish gray, but mine is like a super gray, like really like a stormy night. And so I changed my house to blue to look a little bit cheerier. I used to have a sweet, sweet neighbor that lived in a blue house and um, she was, Carol was the sweetest thing ever. And um, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna change it blue, like Carol's house used to be. And I'm enjoying that stitch so much. But I'm trying to show y'all, I put my patterns just on a clipboard like this. And then I have my little, this is just a piece of felt that I have stuck up in under here that I can stick my threads on. And I just stack them on here a note about what I want to buy this weekend at the LNS. Uh -huh. But I stack it on this thing. And I saw it at the Walmart. It's so stupid, but I thought that would work great. And it sure does. It's called Pillow Pad. Mm -hmm. But I can lean my chart on here. I can set it in my lap. I can set it on the table next to me. And then I put my scissors from Sweet Smurfette Stitches, if y'all haven't watched her. She's a doll, and this was part of the Christmas uh, thing she sent me. We kind of sent some things back and forth, but she's a doll and has beautiful, man, she's working on a sampler right now. It's out of this world. Um, but that just sticks right in there, and it works out great for me. I think it was $9 at Walmart. It was like ridiculous, um, and I thought that's going to work out great, and it works like a charm. Love that thing. So that is um, my whip along with my health and peace attending. I haven't worked on it, so I'm not gonna show it because there's no change. Um, it's just sitting there waiting for me in the next couple days to pick it up and get some stitches in before I go this weekend or I'll be ashamed of myself for letting it sit a month and not stitching on it. But I really, when I get going on something, I like just to go. I'm not good. Y'all you know, have your little whip boards and your charts and things. And that's so cool, but I'm, I'm not that good. My FFOs, I want to, y'all saw this one a minute ago, but I, I was gonna show y'all this little thing. You know, Priscilla had her stashed in things. This little jobber right here, here's my back of my thing. And this is the small from the Chopful series. It is, it was on sale for half of this at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna try to see if it will focus on that number. Maybe. One, six, three, five, nine, two, nine. Yeah, that's it. And so it was like, I don't know, $11. And they're just gonna sit right down on the inside of there as I do the others and it's just gonna stash them. So since I'm picking up um, the hip hop chalk full, that's one of the things on my list to get this weekend because I love how he fits on the front there. And then I'm gonna do the hip hop same size and then I'll just stash him inside too. So that's gonna work out great for showing them and storing them in the in-between. I finally got a little bit of finishing mojo and if uh, y'all follow me on Insta, um, Nisi Lynn on Insta, I'm on my full name on Facebook, Denise Ledbetter Williams. Yeah, I know that's a mouthful, right? I've showed my finish for, I finally got my finishing mojo and got snowy chalk full finished. And I did him into this and he's of course smashed up now because I've had him laying on the counter, but I got him finished into this little, I guess a ditty bag. I don't know what else you call it. But I, it's hanging off the fireplace mantle right now, and it's just kind of bright and cheery. And the design, Priscilla and Kathy just 
outdo themselves. It's so cheery, it's so cute. It's not Christmassy, it's just wintry. This is some, I went and got these out of my Christmas stash so I could stick something down in here. But you could use anything, but I think I'm gonna do all mine this way and then just hang it down from the fireplace like my hip hop chock full too. So um, anyway, it's just, that's the back. I didn't have a pattern, I just, what did I cut this thing? Um, well, let me see. The chalk full was seven and a quarter by four and a half. And I think I came off of it about an inch and a half either way. And then just sewed it up like that. So it went super, super easy and super, super fast. I enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I didn't have any, I don't know, I just couldn't get my stitching brain together until um, this last week. Um, I just could clear my thoughts. I guess worrying about my mom and stuff and it just, uh, when your mom is sick, it makes you worried. But I am grabbing this off of here because this is going to be what I'm fixing to show y'all my winter, but I have to switch it so y'all don't see the pattern. Winter chalkboard by Hands On Design, Kathy Haberman. You can only get it from Hirschner's or if you have, I think it's the 2017 keepsake calendar it's in there but it is so dang cute it's stitched up really fast really well i loved working on it i used uh, the silky threads instead of just the white red green blue and then the mug color i switched up i'll show you in a minute is 4006 and then the variegated blue is the 4014. So I switched up a couple, I switched up my boots to look some more like some uh, Sorrel boots I have. Switched the mug up to look like an ugly mug that my daddy has that he still drinks coffee out of. It's just, ooh, it's really ugly. But here it is and I have really enjoyed having it propped up and out for a little bit longer. I will leave my winter stitching out until um, the end of February. In March, I'll start busting out my spring decorating. I won't be able to take it anymore. Quite frankly, I'll have to get my spring out. But this one is on 28 count black writ dyed even weave. And I just left it in there a couple of hours, squeezed it out. I've told y'all before, I can't see the black really well. So this works close enough for me. It's like a dirty chalkboard, I guess. You know, right before the teacher would let you wash it, it'd be all like this with the white on there. So mine's a dirty chalkboard. So this is on 28 count. And if you if you stitch it on 28, it is seven by eight and three quarters is the finished stitch. So my, seven by, seven by eight and three quarters. So my first board that this one is wrapped around, this board here that the gray's wrapped around, I cut seven and a half by nine and a quarter. Then this board right here, I cut eight and a half by 10 and a quarter. And it has just, I think I got this plaid at Joann's probably. I have a Joann's here in town, but that is the, the mug. Daddy's is more yellowy. It looked kind of, it was gonna be more yellowy, but it is so ugly yellow brown. It doesn't, just a little bit, but it's all splotchy and like a drip glaze, it's hideous, but I saw it and thought that'll work. That'll look like that mug right there. And it was a fun, fun, fast stitch. I did use a white DMC here because I wanted, I used two threads and bulk it up a little bit because I wanted my stump balls to look a little bit poofy and round. And then on one other thing, but I can't remember what. So it's just that little bit that I was trying to make them look a little bit of 3D, like give them a little bit of dimension. But I put my little initials and the year over here. Y'all know I always have to have that on there. This board, I don't know where I got this thing. I think maybe Walmart for like $10. It's a little bit big. I would like something a little bit smaller than this to put on there, but I had it, it works great. It's just magnets on the back, like Priscilla 
showed. It's a genius, genius, genius thing. Oop, dang, that was loud. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, this is my FFO this week. Um, stitch and FFO. And my little snowy chalk full was a finish last week, but he didn't get FFO'd. It was finished a little bit, I guess the end of the week before, but he didn't get FFO'd till in between now and the last video. And we've had a grandbaby's birthday party and all kind of fun things. So it's been um, a great, I guess about 10 days. Yeah, 10 days since I've seen y'all. We've had all kinds of fun. So I appreciate all y'all's comments and suggestions and ideas about things to do for Mama. Um, I'm hoping she's gonna go to Zumba this afternoon. I'm fixing to call and see if she feels like going. If it's too cold or nasty, we're not having much luck. She don't wanna get out of the house. She just wanna hole up in there, which I understand. The weather being nasty, she's not interested in getting out in that. So my snowy chalk full pattern, so that is, has that pattern itself, has this one, and this one in it. And then it will, um, I'm gonna throw that, the piece of Ada I have left over, I believe is what is gonna go in there. Let me see my notes from last time before I tell y'all a lie. I'm trying to quit lying. But all y'all's hospital stories were cracking me up. Snowy chalk full with, yeah, with my diet Ada, so that's right in there. Um, and y'all were telling, and I was thinking about coming out of anesthesia, and it made me think about, um, I was laughing so hard. I have bad guts, and my first colonoscopy, and they always can't wake me up afterward. I, they have a hard time having me come back up out of anesthesia. So finally they came and got my husband. He was like, 10,000 people had come and gone, and I figured you're dead back there, and they just didn't want to come say anything. Of course, he's just out there playing on his phone. And um, he said, finally they came and they said, uh, Mr. Williams, so we've got her back here and got some clothes on her, but we're gonna have to have you come around the back and just load her up in the car because she's fine, but we can't get her to stay awake. And so he said, of course, all the other people left out of there and we're going to IHOP and get something to eat. And he was like, great. So he said, they, he pulls around back and they bring me out in the wheelchair and they're trying to shove me up in the car. And I'm like, just dish rag, you know, it just, it messes me up. I am just so out of it. So they get me crammed in the car and he fastens me in the seatbelt and he says, and you remember she's hypoglycemic, so you're gonna have to get her something to eat. And um, so he's like, great googly moogly. So he said, he starts home, he gets me these. He said, I think I'll get you a drink and some French fries. So he said, I didn't have any luck getting you a drink or anything. So he kept handing me these French fries and he thought he was doing so good because he said, I'd hand you the French fry and you take it in your hand. And he said, I was trying to keep my eyes on the road. So he said, just driving, he said, I'd look over there and the French fry was gone. So he said, I thought, well, great. She's at least, you know, getting these fries down. <laughs> he got home and came around to open up the door to get me out and there was a big mound of French fries in the floor. <laughs> he had handed them to me and I, and then just dropped it in the floor. <laughs> because for whatever reason, I do not come out of anesthesia. I just stay asleep. It is hard for me to get woke up. I, I, I will come home and you know, like I said, other people went out to eat and all this. If I have to get put under, I go, I come home, they do it in that morning. I come home, I sleep all day and all the next night and I'm still sleepy the next day. I mean, it's bad times. It is bad, bad times. So, oh, that y'all were cracking me up with hospital stories and, um, and that, uh, the yucky feeling you get while you're there, but the snowy chalk full was the giveaway, it was the share um, last week, and it was won by Judy Salinas, and I will um, tag you on in the comment, and also say your name on here. So Judy Salinas, um, you won the snowy chalk full with the piece of Ada on there, and then this week, I need to pass this on, and now whoever gets it, it's only available through download, so it's just a little, it's just a little sad copy, but that's the only way it comes, um, PDF download, I guess, you know, you get what you get, and um, it does have the list on here of the 
threads that they use and everything. It's a very, um, I'll just try to show those the little, the little top part. So, I mean, it is a clear copy, but it is just a PDF download. That's the only way that you can get it. Kathy has said that she will um, do um, like a spring, summer, like this on here. So that'll be, that'll be nice because I love this. And then I also will finish out the others to switch out. So that'll be great. So if you are interested in the winter chalkboard here, um, I guess tell me if you were good at school or if you were bad at school. I'm not saying like, you know, if you were real smart. I'm saying if you were like naughty or nice at school. So just make sure the word school is in your comment and then it will um, pick it up in the random comment generator. So just tell me about if you was a good kid or a bad kid at school. And uh, then we will, that will be the giveaway last week. Like I said, it's not available on a hard copy. It's only PDF download. So if you get it, it's just, you know, it's just copied off my printer is all it is. So um, let me know if you're interested in that by commenting something about a school in the comments. And, um, we should be getting ready to go get some. The girls and I are going to go walk in with my cousin Carla, Missy, in a little bit. So they should be getting up before long. And we're going to go have us some fun and exercise and in the uh, church, in the gym. So y'all have a great week. I'll probably see you in a week or 10 days. And uh, y'all have fun stitching this weekend. They say it's going to be rainy. So stay in, stay safe, and enjoy your stitches. Thanks, y'all. Bye.